everyone. I've been watching vloggers and, and beauty gurus and, and videos and stuff on YouTube for a long time and I thought it might be kind of fun to try it myself. So I guess I was just gonna give this a try and see what happens. Um, I thought I'd start with something that I've seen a lot of people do, a lot of people do updates with. It's a little bit nosy and it's one of those things that I always see and go, uh, who really cares about what's in your bag? Um, but I always end up watching them. So I figured I would do a what's in my bag video as a starter. Um, and just kind of see what happens. So I guess I'll get started. So this is my bag. It's not anything real special or anything real fancy. It's I got it from Target. Um, I was looking for a new bag and I was looking for a bluish one. I was kind of looking for one more kind of the color of my scarf. And after looking for for weeks I didn't find one but I did find this one and I liked it it's a nice bright blue I really like blue so I think it's from Morona um, Morona I think that's how it's pronounced it's a brand that I know Target carries a lot of um, but it's kind of nice it's really nice and big um, it's got these four pockets on the sides so two on each side that are kind of really big and the whole hand fits in it um, and it's got just one little pocket on the inside that um, I just carry my feminine and mentionables, I guess, in. So we won't show you exactly what's in that one. But um, I just kind of have on the outside a little hand sanitizer. It's the Vampire Life one from Bath & Body Works. I think I've gotten this every single year that they've had it. I used to work at Bath & Body. Um, I got really, really, really excited when I had a vampire thing. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of my Halloween one that I just kind of have as a little decoration. Jim, when you get done, put it on your hands. This stuff is gross. We can't get to a sink. Obviously soap and water is better, but it's something. Um, so anyway, just I guess to start out, um, I actually just got a new wallet because my other one was falling apart. The beautiful one that my sister got me was falling apart. So I found this one. So I found another blue, kind of like the color of my scarf wallet. I think I got this at Holes. Um, I think it was on a really super duper clearance sale because I think it was one of the last ones. I know it said like limited supply only, um, but it's kind of neat. It's I wish that it had a, like a coin purse and it doesn't, but it's just kind of got a little pocket for money and stuff. I don't have very much. Um, and then a little to kind of cover up my ID and stuff. So lots of little pockets for cards. And I've got a little pen in here, and then there is, of course, my checkbook, and then lots of, I've got one of these inserts to put, um, like, pictures, my sister, <laughs> and stuff, um, and my brother, and my mom and dad, so just kind of, I like having a little thing where I can put pictures of my family, um, and there's lots of little teeny tiny pockets in it too so you can keep any little bits of information you need or like mass amounts of coupons like I have underneath there. It's really kind of nice. I wish it was a little bit, I don't know, maybe bigger because I'm already, it's kind of bursting as it is. Granted I have to clean out my coupons but I don't know, I like it. It's a really nice color. I'm glad I got it. Kohl's probably don't have it anymore but it's a nice one. Um, I've got my little bag of drugs. I always say that I'm like a pharmacy, I'm a nurse's daughter, uh, so I always was the one carrying many different kinds of pain medications, and I get headaches a lot, too, so this has just got, you know, Tylenol and ibuprofen and just normal, everyday, what you might need if you get a sinus headache or you're sick, just my little bag of drugs. Um, I say my little bag. Um, I've got my Kindle, which was a gift couple Christmases ago from my parents, um, kind of my big gift, and it's been wonderful. I do love real books. I really rebelled against getting a Kindle because I love having a paper book, but it, it's just better for the environment, and I, I've moved so many times, too, that carrying boxes of books just get to be too much and too heavy, so I'm kind of trying to pare it down to just the books I cannot separate with, um, and then putting everything else on here. So I really, really, really like it. It's nice. It's good also to take to the gym. <laughs> what else do I have in here? Oh, I was recently um, sick. 
So I was taking, this is technically, I guess, the um, airborne stuff. It's just the wallborne. It's the Walgreens version of it. I don't know if it helps at all. It gives you some more vitamins. So at least it, it's something. And I feel like it helps me get better quicker. Or I have had it where it seems to help me not get sick. If people around me are really sick. So I don't know if it did anything. But if nothing else, it's like taking a vitamin. So whatever. Um, I also have ooh, my little caramel aspen. Aspen Caramel Woods, sorry, from Bath and Body Works. It's one of their fall scents. I love this. I really wish that it would be a, a one that would come back every year, at least, if not a continuous scent. I really love vanilla and not overly fruity scents, but fruity scents where they're still, they smell very sweet. And this is definitely one of them. And there's my little tiny bottle that's halfway done, but I carry it with me. It's just a good little nice scent to have in your bag. It's very, it's sweet, but not too sickeningly sweet. Um, so, and then the last thing that I've got in my little bag here is my camera that my wonderful fiance got me for Christmas so that I can take better pictures than just on my uh, phone. <laughs> Cause while they do do really good pictures on my phone, this is just a better quality. Um, yeah, and it's just a really nice little camera, a little Canon. Um, SX160IS camera. I'm still learning how to do everything on it. Um, but yeah, so far I've been really impressed with the pictures that I've been able to take with it. I'm not a photographer. I've never really taken any classes, but it's a really nice little camera. And that's really all that's in my bag. It's kind of boring. Um, oh, I didn't look in the pockets. Ha! If there's anything in these pockets. Oh, I usually keep my phone in here when I'm driving or, or at work or whatever. Um, but yeah, I've got my little tangled up headphones for my iPhone. Um, let's see. Oh, I have some lip balm. <laughs> some of the Vaseline Lip Therapy Cocoa Butter, which I actually do really love. Say what you want about Vaseline. This stuff's kind of awesome. Um, some Tic Tacs. Because mints are good. Um, and then this is a little Altoid container, but it doesn't have Altoids in it. It's where I keep all of my bobby pins because I have a crazy amount of hair and sometimes it bugs me and I want to put it up. So I just keep it in a little Altoids container. And it's a really, it's their perfect size for bobby pins. So I don't know if anybody else has thought of this, but it's a really good idea. I really like it. That might be, nope, I lied. Um, Corn poker. I don't know why that's in my purse, but a little thing to stick on the end of corn cob so you can eat it without burning your hands. Um, and then my ID badge for work. So that's that is all that is in my purse now. Um, so not anything that's too exciting, but I just thought it might be a good kind of start to doing all of this. If anybody has any ideas of things that they would like to see, please let me know. Um, you can leave me a comment down below. Um, if you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. I know um, my fiance, Mike, and I are planning on going to France later on, and I want to try and do some vlogging while I'm there. Don't know exactly how long we're going, what exactly we're going to do, but um, hopefully that will be something that I can get some interesting stuff about, like an American girl in Paris kind of thing. Um, and I know I had a friend who also had mentioned that she wanted to see, like, how to do uh, good stage makeup on stage. I'm, a, I'm an actress, for those of you who don't know me in real life. Um, so I may try and start doing some of the looks that I've done on stage if I can remember how to do them. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this um, kind of generic what's in your bag. I know it's been overkill done all the time on, on blogs, but it might, thought it was a good thing to start with. So anyway, yeah, I guess I will see you guys later. Bye.